Let's look at some simultaneous equations. Now, in the core one work, the questions are usually very helpful and they'll say solve this pair of simultaneous equations. As you start to progress through your mathematical experiences, these will just turn up unannounced and you've got to have the skills uh, to cope with them. Now, at GCSE level you will have solved linear simultaneous equations. So I hope that all of you that are looking at this wouldn't have any problems if I wrote down a pair of simultaneous equations like this and ask you to solve those, you'd all be able to do that. I'm, sh I'm sure you would. Now let's look at these, which are uh, slightly different, slightly harder, because our second equation here has got an x squared in it. It's also got an xy term. And similarly, in the second example we'll look at, there's an x squared term. So the first one is a linear equation. This one is a non-linear equation. And similarly here, linear, non-linear. So how do we solve those sorts of equations, simultaneous equations? Well, there are one or two ways of, of doing this. Uh, I think in this uh, short video we would only want to try and look at uh, two methods. And, and in a way, these two methods are enough for you at, at this stage. So looking at the first pair here, we go to our linear equation and we rearrange it to make uh, either x the subject or y the subject. And there's no absolutely firm rule on this. Uh, people have their own ways of doing this. I'm going to use the philosophy of making the simplest one the subject. That isn't always the best case. So here, clearly, uh, x is going to be the simplest one to make the subject. So we rearrange that, x equals 3 minus 2y. Now try and visualise, so this says very clearly x equals that. So if you like, this little, little box here is x. So everywhere in the second equation that I see the letter x, I'm going to replace with this uh, square box. So here's x, square box, squared, plus 2x. Here's x, square box, times y, equals 3. Then, this is the bit where you've got to be good with your uh, manipulation of basic algebra and we have the inevitable uh, problem here because you're going to have to square out uh, this bracket. Please don't just say that's 9 minus 4y squared would be the, the, the worst thing you could do. Um, try again, let's develop some skills here. If you square out a bracket you get the first number squared, you get the second thing squared. Now if you square something negative it becomes positive, and then you get twice the product because remember a plus b squared is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. What is the product here? 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y, twice that is negative 12y. Multiply this out. Again, be careful. Easy to forget the y on the end. So it's not really 2 times that. It's 2y times that. So 2y times 3 is 6y. 2y times minus 2y is minus 4y squared with 3. So if you've done it correctly, you'll end up with something that looks a bit quadratic-y. But this one's actually a little bit uh, simpler than that because look at this, there's a plus 4y squared there and a minus 4y squared there. So the y squared actually disappears altogether. 3, we'll take 3 from this side, so 9 take away 3 is 6. 
And then if I put the y terms on the right hand side, negative 12y becomes plus 12y, plus 6y becomes minus 6y, so I get 6y, 6 equals 6y, y equals 1. Then once I've done that, I go back to my squared box here. I know that y is 1, so therefore x is also 3, take away 2 times 1, is 1. So this pair of equations here only has one solution, x equals 1, y equals 1. Now let's, uh, so we've done that one then. Okay, so now let's look uh, here at this pair. Now this is slightly different. They are both y equals. Now this is very, very common when you're asked to find where graphs meet. If I were to draw that graph, it's a quadratic, and you'll have to believe me that it looks a bit like that. If I were to draw this straight line, it looks a bit like that. So in fact, when I'm solving these simultaneous equations, I'm going to work out where they meet. Now this will occur many times in the work that you do. Because they're both y, then you could argue that they're both equal to the same thing. So that this is actually equal to that, because they're both y. So when they meet, the y values on both of them are the same. So this in a way is a lot easier, because all I've got to do is to put 4x take away 3 equal to 3x squared plus 7x minus 21. Put all that onto one side. Let's put it onto the right. 3x squared, that's okay. 7x take away 4x is 3x. Negative 3 becomes positive 3 here, and that's negative 18. Again, remembering core 1, our quadratic equation is going to crop up over and over and over again. Look at it carefully. Don't just rush into it. You can divide through by 3. So we get x squared plus x minus 6. Usually division by a number makes it a lot easier to factorise. So this factorises as x plus 3, x minus 2. So that means that this point here is x equals 2, and the other point is x equals negative 3. If I want to know y as well, which I do of course to solve the equations, if I was only interested in the graph, then probably x is enough. But if I want to solve the equations, I have to go back to find what y is. So if I take the first one, because that's easier, uh, let's find a little bit of space up here, because I'm running out of space. But never mind. So if I put uh, x equal to 2 into this one, uh, so when x is 2, y will be 8 take away 3, which is 5. And then finally, if x equals negative 3, y will be negative 12, take away 3, is negative 15. So there we are, two, uh, two methods of solving nonlinear simultaneous equations. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 
3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.